I've never found an unbroken megalodon shark tooth in my life. I really wanted to find one. The boneyard, an ancient seabed full of fossils, is known worldwide for its huge megalodon teeth. The problem was, the boneyard is a mile or two off Venice Beach and about 20 to 28 feet below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. Thinking of going down that far was scary for me because I'd never gone anywhere near that deep. It seemed almost impossible. Here we are in Florida. Even rest areas are fun places to play. Looking for lizards. First stop, pick up our hookah diving equipment. Using the hookah was much easier than I thought. We tested our gear in the wild for the first time at Crystal River. The diving was fun because the water wasn't deep at all, so I could breathe normally. Next, we swam in the Chasawitska Springs, where they have underwater caves. What do you think you can do it? It's going through the hole. Oh, I'm not sorry. I need to have the breath. It's like I use all my air just going down. So it's, it's okay if you don't do it, right? Yeah. Upriver, a family invited us to play. Both the hookah gear and the marine motor run off of 12 volt deep cycle batteries, and the outriggers stabilize the canoe for bigger waves in the Gulf of Mexico, and they allow us to dive from the canoe without capsizing it. We're leaving! You're a pelican? Yeah, you're flapping your wings. Oh, I see a fish! We're about to dive. We got the diver down flag up. And my dad just dove. The diving started getting scary when we started going down deeper and I couldn't equalize the pressure in my ears. Here I'm plugging my nose and blowing to try to equalize. I hear a giant screeching noise in my ears and I get scared and want to go up. We're trying it again because it was a little bit scary for me. As a dad, I tightrope to find balance between helping her face her fears and making sure she was safe and comfortable. The next day I was more comfortable diving, but I was colder in my wetsuit.
Since we were figuring out how to find the right areas to search for fossils on our own, logistically we just needed to keep trying when we found sandy bottoms. The gravelly bottoms were where the fossils were. We dove so much today, at the end of our fifth dive, the battery was down to 1%. We could tell because the air pressure was a little bit lower, and we went to the surface before we used up the reserve air tank. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Here are some of our finds. Mackerel shark tooth, lemon shark tooth, bull shark tooth, sand tiger shark tooth, ray mouth plate, dugong rib bone. That was fun. Right there. Whoa, they're doing a show for us. Overall, this adventure was fun, beautiful, and scary at the same time. We didn't find any megalodons, and I'm fine with that because they're so hard to find. But now I know how to dive, and we can come back to look again. She is only 10 after all, so she has plenty of time to find one, or a hundred, she says. But for me, it's not about what we find that's important, but it's what we've uncovered or faced about ourselves, and I think she did great.